Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I thought I'd share a video where I talk about fragrances that work well together going from day into night. So uh, perfumes that either have similar notes, so they flow seamlessly into one another, if that makes sense. There's nothing worse than uh, you've got a perfume on, you can still smell it at the end of the day or kind of like heading into the evening, but you want to go out and you don't want to wear the same perfume because you want to wear a little bit more of a sultry perfume and you don't know what to wear because you've already you can still smell yourself uh, if that makes sense so I wanted to give you uh, pairing options so not so much um, layering options but perfumes that work well together so that it's not going to be a major clash when you put on your next fragrance so these perfumes kind of have similar notes or just seemingly work well together uh, so yeah I hope that makes sense I think it does. I think it makes sense. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead, hit that button. Join the Weird Wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So the first one I wanted to talk about is a fragrance combination that I've used quite often. Uh, and the day fragrance would be... Um, Dolce & Gabbana's Love is Love. Now this fragrance, this fragrance I am absolutely in love with. <laughs> like I've worn this one so much uh, this summer. It's been the hottest summer that I can remember in over 10 years. I don't remember our weather being this hot. In fact, I'm not sure it's been this hot in even 20 years. Like it's been a hot, hot summer. So um, I have been reaching for uh, kind of fresher fragrances and Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love is just totally my jam. Now, Light Blue wasn't my jam because it somehow, I don't know if it was the vanilla or what, it just didn't sit well on my skin. I know tons of people love it. But this one with the raspberry, it's totally, like, I, I just love it. So you get this bit of citrus, this hint of citrus. But what for me makes this fragrance so awesome is the raspberry. And I just love that kind of bright raspberry note. There's also like a whipped cream accord in this. And although it's not heavy in any way, there is a little bit of kind of sweet, kind of ice creamy creaminess about this one. Kind of reminds me of like a sorbet, that type of idea. So I really like this one. It's not very strong. Although if you overspray, like I can get five hours out of this but it's you know you've got to really overspray so usually what I do is I'll put this one on I love it I love it love it love it uh, and then I will move on uh, in the last part of the day to so scandal uh, which is um, this one is also raspberry uh, heavy so this one really smells like raspberry but this one's a little bit more uh, flirty, a little bit more sensual. Uh, it's got some tuberose and milk in this one. So very similar scent profiles. And I think that's kind of what I'm going with is something that kind of, again, uh, seamlessly uh, flows into itself uh, into, I don't know, I, I, I don't know the right, right words. I, I have a hard time talking. <laughs> But anyway, uh, this one just really works well with this one. So yeah, you could layer them, but I'm just thinking from a perspective of moving from day to night. So this would be the next one I would go with. And I think that this one's really pretty. Now, because this one isn't a long lasting one and because I'm home quite a lot uh, due to working at home and different stuff like that, what I have done is I'll wear this for the morning I'll switch to this for the afternoon. And then if I were to go on a date night, I'd actually pull out L'Entre D. So this has the citrus raspberry, nice and fresh for that hot weather. This is still fresh, uh, but it, the freshness comes from that raspberry, but it's got a little bit of more depth because of the tuberose. And then this one has no raspberry, but it's got a very similar tuberose note. So these ones can also work in seamlessly. So nothing is going to clash in these. Uh, now, obviously, it's a bit high maintenance doing three fragrances during the day, but 
why not? Like, why not treat yourself? To me, it's like, to me, it's a type of self-care. Like, I'm going throughout my day. I can smell myself. It makes me happy. Uh, it keeps me in the moment, too. I think that's the neat thing about fragrance. Like, yeah, it can take me away to, like, you know, some sort of scenario that I make up in my head, which you know I do and love doing that. But what I love about fragrance is that it keeps you in the moment. So in the moment, you take a time, you take time to just sniff the perfume and enjoy, enjoy the fragrance, enjoying the moment, enjoying the self. And I think it's a really great way to ground yourself to, to move throughout your day. So fragrance is awesome. And it's, you know, so I, I like changing up my perfumes throughout the day. And this is a way that I can do it where I don't smell like a weird, like a fairy swamp where, you know, I've tried on so many different fragrances and someone comes near me and goes, oh, I can't like, like what the heck? You smell like chemical soup or something. I want the fragrances to work together uh, so nothing is like really sticking out and I just smell awesome all day. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> so anyway, those are my first com combinations. Love is love, uh, to sew scandal, and then if I'm really being extra, move to laundry. And these all work really well together. Um, I wouldn't go from this to this, uh, but uh, yeah. So I hope that this is making sense. Maybe it's so whack jobby, but uh, I think it makes sense. <laughs> So if I were to put on Dolce Garden during the day, now this one, it's quite thick. Oh, I haven't smelled this one in a while and it smells so good. So this one, I definitely get a lot of coconut in this one, uh, but this one also has florals. So there's magnolia and there's frangipani, uh, you know, the kind of the yellow tropical florals a little bit, but then you also get um, just this creamy waxiness as well. I think there's beeswax in this or something like that. So this one has a waxy quality, not honey, uh, just a bit of a waxiness, but it's so delicious. And Dolce & Gabbana does their coconut, like their coconut note is so beautiful. So I love wearing this one. It's super romantic, super feminine. It's quite heavy, so I wouldn't wear this in the dead heat, like super heat, hot. Uh, this may be a little too much. Uh, you tell me, like, do you wear this in the heat? Uh, I prefer this one, I think, more in the spring type weather, but when it gets really hot, it's too much for me. Uh, but I, I just think this one is so pretty, and I love the femininity of the florals mixed with the coconut. Uh, it's just so stunning. Uh, and this one actually, to me, makes a great date night fragrance because it's sweet, it's a little bit syrupy. I can see guys uh, actually really enjoying this one. Uh, if you're wanting to deepen this up, for evening, what I would pair it with is Dolce and Gabbana's The Only One Intense. Now this one, um, very, very similar coconut note to me. So this one, this one is also very sweet uh, fragrance, but this one, as well as having the, uh, there's the coconut, there's neroli, there's apple in this one. To me, it comes across as a boozy coconut. But as well, this one has some woods. So there's some cedar, some sandalwood. Uh, and so this one, this one has a creaminess and a little bit more of that sultry, uh, seductive uh, type vibe would be in this one. So I just think that this is great for during the day. And this one's pretty decent lasting. Like I get about seven hours out of this one. I know some people don't find it as long lasting, but I find it awesome. So I get really decent longevity out of this one. So again, then going into the, the uh, evening, I don't want something to clash with this one because this one really sticks around. So this one to me just kind of brings a little bit of mystery to this one and just kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> seductifies it up. Is that a term? But you know what I mean. Like if you're going out on a date, you want to smell a little bit sensual. So this one, this one's the romantic, um, feminine, and then this is the sensuality aspect uh, that you can add to it. So these just work really well together. 
Okay, now the next fragrance uh, that I love wearing during the day is Elisab Le Parfum. Now this one is super classy. So this is, oh, this one I think I'm gonna wear today. So I love wearing this one. If I've got any meetings, if I wanna smell classy and feminine, this one's just beautiful. Now this one has a lot of the white florals. Uh, I definitely get a heavy dose of orange blossom and neroli in this one. So just that light kind of sweet white floral. Um, this one's a little bit to me, uh, yeah, it's just very, very pretty, very classy smelling. Uh, just a, a really um, like a very, a clean white floral is what I get from this one. But that said, this one also has a honey note and cedar. So what I like about this one is although there's, uh, you know, that, that creamy white floral, uh, there's a bit of groundedness with the cedar and also uh, just a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, honey note. It's not like honey is in Scandal honey, uh, you know, kind of that little bit almost animalic honey. Uh, this is much more of a sweet, fresh uh, honey, like a, a clear honey, if that makes sense. Uh, and it's just really pretty. I like the sweetness that that honey brings, and I like the depth that the cedar brings. Uh, and this one again, uh, you know, it lasts like a significant amount of time on me. So I get out of this one, um, I get like six, seven hours. Like I can smell this one for a long time on my skin. So uh, to go into evening with that one, I would choose Jean-Paul Gaultier's Classique Essence de Parfum. Uh, what, what kind of is the common denominator between these two? is the orange blossom or the neroli. So this one has a lot of that, but this one also has a ginger in it. So it, it basically, the base of this, like with the, the orange flower, the neroli, is in this one. So this one has a bit of a, uh, you know, that white floral base, but it's also got tangerine, ginger, aldehydes, I think there's a whipped cream accord in here and some woody bases. So this to me is like just kind of like to begin with a fizzy ginger drink. Uh, you get a little bit of sparkling uh, action in this one because of the aldehydes with the ginger and the tangerine. A lot of people notice the tangerine more than the ginger. I notice the ginger more. Uh, so some people have said that this is like an orange creamsicle fragrance. I don't get that at all. I get spicy ginger in it. So I get this ginger paired with the tangerine, paired with the, uh, you know, the neroli or the orange blossomy type fragrance. Uh, and then as it dries down, you get a bit of wood, uh, you get this whipped cream that comes out and, and to me, it end, ends up smelling a little bit like um, a warm gingerbread cake. So my grandma, she always used to make these delicious, they were from a box. So she got the box at the store. Uh, my grandma was the most amazing woman. Uh, like she was the sweetest, most loving, gentle, caring person, but she was a terrible cook. <laughs> but the two things that she made, well, she made biscuits and they were always awesome, but she also made uh, gingerbread cookies and gingerbread uh, cake from a, a mix. And the gingerbread cake from the mix, um, somehow the dry down reminds me of that. So biting into a warm gingerbread cake with a big dollop of whipped cream is what I get out of this. So uh, for whatever reason, although this is super feminine, super floral, this really works well with it. So I've paired these two uh, to wear as a combination and I think that they're beautiful. It, it kind of, it kind of, uh, you know, lightens this one up a little bit, if that makes sense. Uh, but to work in conjunction with one another, this one in the day, this one in the evening, uh, is their great pairing. So, yeah. And uh, one of my favorite perfumes to wear during the day, of course, is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Now, this one you could pair with so many different fragrances. Uh, you know, it's just got that juicy plum. And this perfume lasts a long time on my skin as well, like six, seven hours I get. And of course, I'm kind of over spraying these days, so I'm probably being so obnoxious. 
but I love this fragrance. What I get mainly from this one is the plum. I definitely get that plum. I get the black currant. Uh, I get some rose in there and then there's I think vanilla, sandalwood, different kind of things in the base. This is just a beautiful cheery fragrance. It's rather linear. I love wearing it. It smells feminine, flirty, classy. Uh, so I love it. A lot of people, if you don't like Coco Mademoiselle, because uh, you don't like the orange note or the patchouli in the base, um, this one has a similar vibe. It doesn't smell the same. Uh, but it's got a similar vibe, but uh, this one, uh, a lot of people really like it uh, because of that plum and the like the juiciness of the opening, but you get still that class uh, from, from the fragrance that's very similar to Coco Mademoiselle. So this is a great option. It's also exceptionally affordable. It's one of my favorite fragrances, period. I just love it. I always feel happy when I wear this, like always. So uh, moving into the night, because this one lasts on my skin so long, I want something that's gonna work really well with it, and I would go with Michael Kors Twilight Shimmer. So this one, uh, what these, what Sophia and Twilight Shimmer um, kind of have in common is that plum note. Now this one has plum and red berries in the opening. It has Loatian Oud in the mid, and then the base the base is praline and woody notes. So this one is super sexy. Uh, there's a smokiness to it. This one, like, this one's happy, juicy, flirty. Uh, and then this is like the she-cat that comes out to play at night. <laughs> so this is the innocent, flirty, delicious, uh, you know, you're going through life and you're kind of going, <laughs> like, you know, you're having laughs and, you know, kind of once in, a, once in a while kicking up your leg and you're, you're beautiful. And then, then, uh, you, it's time for dark and seductive. You pull this one out. So this one has that plum note and the plums are very similar. So this is going to sm smoke this one up, if that makes sense. Plus this one has the praline. There's woody notes in this one. I just think that this is so, so delicious and sexy. Uh, it's kind of edible, uh, but in, in kind of a, I don't know, there's something about this. Like when I think about this, I think of a, a plum, like it would be the plum that you were eating from this, but now you've taken it and you've like soaked it in liquor <laughs> and it's super ripe and then you bite into it and it kind of just, I don't know, like there's, there's something about this that I find so intoxicating. I think that's the thing. This is intoxicating with that, with that oud aspect and it's not like a super thick skanky oud or anything like that. It's a sweet, delicate oud, like it's not crazy. Mixed with that praline this is such a delectable, intoxicating combination. I just think it's amazing. And these just, because of that plum, uh, this is just gonna work so well with it. So yeah, um, I, I think what I, what like I, I'm having a really hard time explaining. I hope this video is making sense. Like I, I basically, you know, okay, we're wearing a perfume. We don't want, okay, I've already said that. So I'm not gonna say it again. I don't know why I'm finding this video so difficult to explain, but I hope it makes sense because it's something that I think about all the time. You know, I'm wearing something, okay, I'm gonna wear something again, but I don't want it to clash with what I've already got on. So what's gonna work well with it in transition as opposed to layering. So I hope this is, is working for you. <laughs> It's evidently very difficult for me. <laughs> okay, now the next fragrance is Terracotta by Guerlain. Now, I tried this one just the other day, I tried this combination, and I was so amazed by it. So I wore this one all day. I love this one. Like, this one, this is uh, sexy classy. So this is more of a, you know, the tropical beach fragrance. Uh, you have Thierry, coconut, and bergamot in the opening, but what I get primarily is the, the Thierry. Uh, I get a lot of that Thierry flower, uh, a little bit of that coconut, but this to me 
is extremely, extremely warm. It smells almost oily or buttery, if that makes sense. So there's a sweetness to it, but it's, um, it's heavy, but not cloying. So I, I hope that makes sense. Now this one in the base has orange, or in the mids has orange blossom, ylang ylang and jasmine. I mainly get that. I get a little orange blossom. I'd have to say that, but I'm ma mainly getting the tra. And then in the base, it has a vanilla and musk. So this is quite a sensual fragrance. It smells warm. It smells luxe. It smells like rich. I I think of you know, the, the woman that would wear uh, Prada La Femme to work would wear this one on her beach vacations. And so the woman that has this on, she's sensual, uh, she's quite sexy and um, warm. Uh, she's also loaded, like, <laughs> look, she's totally loaded. This woman is loaded, man. I, 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 I totally get the you know, the summer resort, um, you know, I think of, when I smell this, what I think of is, uh, you know, in the 1940s or maybe the 1920s, maybe 1920s is better, except I always imagine the 40s for some reason, it was the most romantic time to me. I think of like the, you know, femme fatale, noir uh, movies, uh, film noir, whatever, I don't know, just the you know, smoking on the, the long cigarette going, I don't know, Johnny, like that kind of thing. Just that, oh, ah, like, you know how they talked in those movies? I don't even know how, what did they call it? Transatlantic? But anyway, it was the, the weird accent and I love you, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, she's, she's kind of wearing one of those turban things on her head and she's got like a, a green bathing suit. <laughs> I don't know why green, but green, but it's got kind of a plunging neckline. She's got high heels on. She's got a white gauzy, uh, like kind of cover up that goes all the way to the floor. Like it's long. Uh, and she stays at this hotel all the time. Like, you know, it's not like she's just there for a few days. She actually rents out the suite for a month. You know, that kind of scenario. She wears this, she wears this all the time. And she smells good. She smells rich. When people, when she walks by, guys are like, you know, they're just following her trail. That's basically this woman. And I love this scent. I, I love it. More and more, like, um, maybe this is the one I'll wear today. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. I love it. It smells a little bit oily or buttery. Uh, I get decent longevity on this, so it does become a skin scent pretty quickly, uh, but it's just gorgeous. So um, the, the scent that actually works really well, as this dries down, you're getting more of the vanilla and tiare, and then I put this on for the evening, and I basically intoxicated myself. <laughs> Holy moly, did I smell good. These two would work great as a layering combination, like phenomenal, like sexy as can be. Uh, but you know, when you're, when this fragrance is still sticking around, um, this one is vanilla, amber and salt. Uh, so it's not for everybody, but I just find this one so extremely sexy. So I think that this is perfect for a date night fragrance. Uh, and it just really works well with this one. So you could, of course, use Olympia and then move on to this one. That would work too. But I just thought this was a beautiful combination. I like the fact that both the bottles are round. This one smells sweet, thick, syrupy, but with salt. So almost like a salted vanilla amber caramel. If there was such a thing, that's what this would be. So. Um, it's almost resinous. It's so thick and sweet, but with that salt, if it didn't have the salt, I think it would be cloying, but with the salt, it just smells, it smells like you're at the ocean and you've got on a really beautiful fragrance. So I love this one. I just, yeah, I think it's beautiful and it works fantastic alongside. So that is it. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this kind of style of video where I'm kind of sharing, okay, you could wear this in the day and then transition to this in the night. Um, I, I hope that I didn't like 
um, irritate you with how many times I tried to explain <laughs> explain the concept. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. What kind of perfumes do you kind of like pair day and going into the night? What ones have you found work really well? I would love to know. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.